All right, it's time to jump into junk. That is what emerging hedge fund manager Jeff Peskin is doing. He's the head of Phoenix Investment Advisors. He says you can get more yield for your money if you're willing to stomach the volatility. Well, welcome to Street Smart, Jeff. It's good to have you. I know some people take offense at the word junk. They right. like to call it distress, but you seem to have no qualms with it. So what is it about um, junk debt right now that looks attractive? Sure. Uh, over the last couple of months, as the overall markets uh, have de-risked, stocks going down, junk bonds have gone down significantly in, in terms of the dollar price. And therefore, the yield on these bonds have risen pretty dramatically over the last uh, six or eight weeks. Hey, I want to bring up, this is an interesting chart that you have, and we should take a look at it, because it sort of speaks to the point. We had um, Marty Fridson mm -hmm. on not that long ago, who sort of, you know, considered the guru of junk debt research, or he would call it distressed debt research. And he sort of brought up the same point, right? And this is, right here we're looking, I think we just got one line on here, looking at the high yield bond index spread. But we should also pull up the line on default rates. I don't know if that's, we got the overlay there. Default rates are extraordinarily low right now. Right, that's right. That's part of my point of why it's so attractive to be in high yield bonds right now. Uh, after this big pullback in terms of bond prices, normally this kind of pullback is associated with a lot of defaults coming. So if you buy junk bonds, you're gonna lose some money over time to defaults, and the more defaults, the more yields you need. This particular time, um, bonds went down pretty dramatically, and the market is expecting, I think rightfully so, defaults will stay low for the foreseeable future because the main fact is after 2008, a lot of the high-yield companies had a near-death experience, and the CFO said, if I can survive 2008, I'm going to deleverage my balance sheet. So today, companies are sitting on a lot of cash. They've pushed out their maturities for a number of years and are in generally very healthy conditions going into this kind of pullback in the bond market. Uh, it was sort of survival of the fittest for these companies. Yes. Now, you're a long short manager. Are right. you going, are you doing a spread trade or a credit trade on this, sort of going long the lower credit spectrum bonds and, and shorting the higher end Ye bonds? Yes, exactly. That's what we, we do is we focus exclusively on bonds that have fallen significantly in price. Uh, those tend to be bonds that are rated triple C or an out-of-favor industries, and that's where we find the most value. And what we tend to short are bonds that we think are about ready to have financial issues uh, or about ready to get downgraded. Tell us what you got on the short side. That sounds interesting. Well, you know, these are bonds that were LBOs over the past few years, and a number of these have gone public, and, and the company's bonds are still trading at 80, 90 cents on the dollar, where the company still has a lot of leverage, but the market's really not factoring that into the equation. Hey, Jeff, it's Adam down on the floor of the New York. For the benefit of our viewers who may not be able to invest with you, how do they actually go out and try to play some of these bond spreads? Uh, sure. Um, really, the best way for, for most investors is to just buy either an ETF or a high-yield mutual fund. It, to buy individual bonds, th th there's a lot of illiquidity and people really can't get in and can't get out. So the best way is to just try to buy, try to buy a fund that you know, is not trading at a big premium to its end net asset value. But, you know, we think there's enough return left, even if you buy just an ETF or a high yield fund. Uh, we think there's some still good returns to be had there. Jeff, you said on the long side, you would like to go sort of triple C. You're really going risky there. Are there particular sectors, if not names, that are worth looking at? Sure. Um, you know, we are a bottoms up focused fund. So we'll just look at any bond that trades, you know, down into our space. You know, really, again, this is such a unique time. You can buy some of the bigger liquid names in our space that are triple C, a Harris bond, a clear channel bond that we think has significant liquidity, has significant runway, and bonds in some cases are down 20, 30, 40 points over the past eight weeks, which is, which is an enormous move um, in, in the credit space. All right, well, it does seem to be as if there's a lot of interest there percolating on the high yield front. You're certainly not the first investor, but an interesting take on it. Thanks. We've got to leave it there. Great to have you here on Thank Street you. Smart. That was Jeff Peskin. Phoenix Investment Advisors Long Short High Yield Bond Fund.